Polly asks that Outlook links won't open in Chrome, despite Chrome being the default browser. It used to work fine, but maybe a week ago, for some reason, it stopped. They are now opening in Bing, which is not Bing. a browser, but mm -hmm. but you know anyway, you know we know what she means, um, <laughs> which I don't like. Any ideas how to fix this? Was it a, did it start not working on a Wednesday? Because Microsoft probably made their update on a Tuesday and broke the default applications. That happens to me all the time. They just keep reverting it back. No, you want to use Edge. No, you really want to use Edge. No, really, 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 you want to use Edge. <laughs> Anybody else <laughs> have that issue? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I gave up on that a long time ago when I used Edge. <clears throat> Yeah, as default. And of course, the point of that is, is she's saying that if she specifically takes, you know, the uh, the uh, email link uh, or takes those links and puts them into Chrome, that they won't open there either. Or is it just the automatic? I click this and it opens up Edge instead. If no, I think I it's click just the this and it opens up Edge instead. It's just yeah. there is a setting in Outlook, believe it or not, as to what browser you can you can uh, it, it's going to look for. Yeah, yeah so I, I don't remember exactly where that is, but there but there is a a, a setting in Outlook with, that will say if you if you get a, a link clicked in an email, use this browser and it probably indeed is set for edge. Yeah, so I actually ran into this because my machine is doing the same thing for the last two weeks, three weeks. And I was like, well, you just go into settings and then you pick apps and then default apps. And you say whenever you open up a web page to change it to Chrome rather than Edge, right? Well, that doesn't work because if you open up a link in Outlook, you actually have to go set it in Outlook as well. And then they say that it they've added so many different file types that all point to Edge that it really depends on what type of link you're clicking on as well. So it may be an HTML link, it may be a uh, what do they call it? A WebP link. It may be a MHTML link. It may be a, you know, a file link. Um, but if you go into settings now it, on my Windows 11 machine, that is, uh, I don't know about Windows 10, but on my Windows 11, it has a boatload more options uh, for default apps, and they all go to Edge. So, so I did put two links in the references one for how to set your default programs and one to how to set your default browser and outlook thank you for teaching me something new i didn't know about that either yeah the actual link in, in outlook is under advanced and it's a section called link hack link link hack handling toy boat link handling open hyperlinks with from outlook in drop down list and is that gonna be, there you is, can go is that going to be and true it's in it's edge or default browser is the two choices i have so let me ask this. Do you think this is going to be the way they go about this in every M365 app where you actually have to go into the app to set the browser rather than having it as part of the default on the OS? Because they haven't done this before. It, I, I think it, it is only between the two. I don't think that there is that control in any other workload. I think it's email and then desktop. Because okay, I'm looking at OneNote right now. I just wanted to see if OneNote actually had an option where it opens its links. And I don't see. There's nothing I don't think I, I, I can't recall having seen that that directive in any of the other um, settings okay. lists. So but that All doesn't right. mean it ain't there. That means I haven't seen it. that it's always changing and evolving and they keep like i said they're like you sure you want don't want to use edge you really really sure you don't want to use edge maybe you really want to use edge it's like no i said it this way for a reason <laughs> um yeah personally i like the profiles in chrome better they seem more stable where when i create profiles in the edge browser it's constantly um asking me do you want to be this person or this person I'm like well I was in this profile and that's why I want to be this person. And they just keep switching back and Chrome seems to be a little more stable for those. 
So I will drink the rest of the Kool-Aid when it works as intended. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to miss you don't want to miss those Bing rewards, you know, because you got to oh. use Bing <laughs> and get those get those that multitude of Bing rewards coming your way, you know, cold hard cash or whatever it is. I don't know, Mike. I I, I suspect you're being sarcastic. Oh, just <laughs> a little bit. Hey, straight up, I use those Bing rewards to restock some gift cards, like my my coffee card. I won't like. Shameless you advice. actually used them? I do. <laughs> you are the first person I I have met that has actually used those. Yeah. I'm honest I, with you. Totally honest. I search I, in Bing. I search in Bing. I do search in Bing, but I do like the browser for the Chrome browser for profiles. I, I think the last time that I used credits from uh, from Bing, um, I purchased um, music on my Zune. <laughs> <laughs> Thing wasn't Long even around. Thing yeah. wasn't Long even around when Zoom. I know, no, it was it was pre-Bing. It was the remember when Microsoft was trying to make uh, uh Microsoft search, they were trying to go after like the shopping thing. I was actually at Microsoft when they did that. They they acquired a company called Jellyfish that was kind of a precursor to the awards and uh you know program. And so I remember when they they added they they said for shopping experience they wanted to make Microsoft Search kind of the the destination, and so they that, they that's when you remember you could that add, that's when you could add the Internet Explorer shopping toolbar, so they would you could actually add the <laughs> toolbar which gave you the shopping experience of coupons and everything else. I don't know if you remember that. So that was uh, like 2008. Yeah, I think, when yeah. they introduced that stuff. So yeah. That's that's nuts. That's that was the nuts. at the height of the Zune craze <laughs> that was sweeping the nation and beyond. <laughs> <laughs>